Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at four ways to reset your network settings to fix internet connection issues. So if you're having an issue and you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11 or an older version of Windows, you can use these fixes to try and fix your internet connection that you might be having an issue with. Now, remember, as long as it's not a hardware issue like a router issue or something like that, or an ISP issue, these settings should help you fix your internet problem that you might be having. So let's take a look at the first one, which a lot of people probably don't even know exists. It's inside Windows itself, inside the settings pane. Once you go inside here, you need to go to network and internet. Once you're inside here, you're going to look for the advanced network settings. Inside advanced network settings, this will open up another window, which is going to allow us to click on the network reset, which will reset all the network adapter to factory settings. You'll see right at the very top, it will say reset now. And it says this will remove and reinstall all of the network adapters and set other network components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other network software afterwards, such as VPN client software and virtual switches and things like that. So bear that in mind. It says network reset. You can click yes, and it will say Windows will now shut down in five minutes. This means after five minutes, it's going to give you some time to close down any programs and then the computer will restart automatically. So let's go ahead and we can force this by just hitting the reset here and going ahead and resetting the computer. And this will reset our network settings on this computer. It's pretty straightforward. And sometimes this fixes a lot of the problems. Now, if it doesn't fix, you can still try some other things and I'll show you another few ways. So next we're going to type CMD and open up the command prompt and run this as administrator. This will open up the command prompt window. Once we're inside here, you will see a little black prompt uh, window here. And what we need to do is type in a bunch of commands. I'll show you some of these commands you can use to reset a lot of the uh, settings here. So we're going to go to NETSH space Winsock space reset. This will obviously reset the Winsock. And we're going to go ahead and you can see that uh, work perfectly fine. And we now need to uh, restart the PC after that. But first off, before we restart, let's do a bunch of other commands. We can do IP config space forward slash. And we're going to do release. And this will release the IP address. And you can see here, it's just done that right here. And now we can do renew. So we're going to do IP config space forward slash renew. And uh, you can use the arrow cursor keys on your keyboard to uh, put the previous command up and just go back and put renew in. And it will then renew your IP address. There we go. That's now done. Next up, we're going to move on to the next thing, which is net sh. And we're going to do space int and then space ip and then space reset and uh, once we've done that we can put space all and this will do everything and we can see here that it's going to reset everything right for us and it will say here everything is okay and if you see any problems here you can then investigate a bit further but you can see it's gone ahead apart from one there which uh, failed because it was access denied next up we can do net sh space win http all one word and then space reset and then space proxy and this will reset any proxies if you had them on your system there is no proxy on here but if it did it would reset it and take it off next up we're going to do ip config space forward slash flush dns this will obviously flush our dns cache now once you've uh, finished with the command prompt you can close the window down and restart your pc and this generally will help reset all of your network settings. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at another one here, which is a batch file. Now, batch files can be quite useful for this sort of task. It means we don't have to type in any commands. It will take care of all of this in one fell swoop. And you can see here, there's a bunch of commands in here, which are very similar to what we've just run here. And there's a few others inside here. But basically what it's going to do is reset our network uh, settings here. And you can use these commands inside this batch file and just right click and run it as administrator as I'm going to show you right here. And right there, we can run this and it go off and do all these commands for us without having to type in anything. Just be patient and let it finish its thing. And then what you can do once that's finished, you can then restart your PC and hopefully your internet connection issues will be fixed. So finally, let's take a look at an application you can use called Net adapter repair all in one. 
This is quite an older program now, but it still works pretty well. And uh, you can see here, we've got some additional tools here. You can either check mark these manually yourself. You can clear the host file, you can view the host file. You can clear the static IP settings and enable DHCP. You can change to Google DNS. We can flush the DNS cache. We can clear up and uh, root table. We can also do NetBIOS reload and release. And we could do a bunch of other things in here like clear the SSL state. You've got your enable LAN adapters and enable wireless adapters here. Reset internet options, security, privacy, and set network windows services to default. And you can run all the selected, or you could just go ahead and click on the advanced repair here, and it will go off and do advanced repair for us. We can ping IP addresses and ping DNS right here. And all you need to do is you can see here, it's going to tell us what script it's going to run and what it's going to do. Winsock TCP IP repair and a bunch of other things here. Just run this. You'll see a prompt uh, box flashing on the screen and you can see the commands it's run down there. It's now finished and we can now restart the system in 50 odd seconds. And once that's done, it will sign us out and restart our PC. And once that's done, you should have a resetted uh, network settings. Now, if you're having intermittent network problems and things like that, maybe it's got corrupted or some sort of issue like drivers and things like that, these are, can be very useful. But if you've got a problem with your hardware or it's an ISP problem, then these are not really going to help you and not going to fix your problems. So make sure that it is a Windows related issue and that these should work perfectly fine and fix your internet issues. Anyway, but that said, my name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on our Discord server for a chat. Link will be in the video description. Have a great day, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.